Hello, my name is Max. I'm CTO and data scientist at Supervisly. Recently, the new extension of Segment Anything model was released in machine learning community. It's called Segment Anything in high quality. This model can segment objects with complex shape and structures way better than the default SAM model. And in today's tutorial, I will show you how to run and use this model inside Supervisly labeling tool. We will compare the predictions from both models on some edge cases that are really hard to segment. Let's start. So to start using neural networks in Supervisely, you need to connect your computer with GPU to account. If you are an enterprise user, your instance administrator already did that and you can run neural networks off top of the already connected computers and shared with all users on your private instance. So to connect computer, we need to go to team cluster page and press add button and execute one command in the terminal. As you can see, I have several computers connected. Uh, I will attach the link to the description so you can easily connect your own computer. Uh, once you do that, this is one time procedure. We need to go to neural networks page and in the section of interactive segmentation, we will find here different state-of-the-art models like Segment Anything, RITM, IESEC, ClickSec, and of course, uh, we will test today uh, Segment Anything in high quality model. To run the models, we just need to press Run button and in advanced settings, select the computer we want to use uh, for deployment. I will run Segment Anything model on this machine Let's press run button and wait until the application will be started. I have a lot of GPU memory on my device, so I will pick the largest and the model that produces the best uh, quality for masks and press serve button. Right now the model is deployed. Let's go back to the neural networks page. Here we see that model is ready and go back to interactive segmentation section and also let's run segment anything HQ. The same uh, in advanced settings, I will select the computer I will use for deployment. When you run the application the first time, it may take some time for the agent to pull Docker images necessary for these applications, uh, but it's only again one time procedure once uh, the Docker images will be on your computer, the application will be started very quickly, like here. So, and I will also select the largest model because I have a lot of GPU memory and we want to compare the best models and press Serve button. So if I will go to neural network page, we will see that two models are running and now we can start using them inside the labeling tool. Let's go back to the demo data. Here I have several images and we will try both models on some of them. Let's start with this. To start using interactive segmentation inside supervised labeling tool, you need to pick the smart tool instrument and in the settings, you will see here that two models are available right now because we deployed them. The first model is segment anything and the second model is segment anything in high quality. Let's start with the default SAM. If I will put the bounding box around the object, the green positive point automatically placed in the center of the bounding box. So you can see model tries to segment uh, the bench, we can provide user feedback by putting red and green dots. So as you can see with several clicks, clicks we get some mask, but it's not very accurate, especially in this place. And also there, there is a problem with the edges of the object. Let's try another model. I go to the settings of the smart tool instrument and just switch uh, the models. Again, I, I need to put the bounding box around the object and let's see what will happen. As you can see, 
the segmentation here on some edges become better, but still we have some issues in some parts of the bench. Let's try to fix them. I put the red dot in the hole and the model recalculated its predictions. So here is the result. Let's try it on another image, this one. I will switch back to default segment anything model and will try to segment this object. I corrected the first positive point. Let's try to put several, several points here, maybe additional red points. And as you can see, model is performing really good. So I had to put a lot of positive and negative points as a user feedback, but still we have some problems with edges and some parts of the ladder are missing. Let's try another model. I switch to Sam HQ and do the same procedure. I put the bounding box, then I correct the first point, then it's better to provide the also negative points to remove the background from the object. And as you can see, uh, with less number of clicks, I can achieve uh, the better performance of this object. That's very good. Let's go to the last example. Here is really uh, just default object, nothing super special. I will try to segment it with default model. And let's correct some objects part here. As you can see, sometimes model cannot adapt to my feedback and cannot segment the object precisely. Some parts are also missing, so uh, it will be hard for me to uh, to correct the model predictions with the clicks. Let's try another model. Segment anything in high quality. Okay, I see almost the same problems with this model. Let's try to correct some missing parts and here I feel that the problem is almost the same like in default segment anything model. As a conclusion, I want to say that the publicly available models like segment anything and segment anything in high quality are really good for some use cases. So you can, in supervisedly, you can try to deploy them and try what will work on your data. Also, we did a tutorial, you can find it in our blog, or in our YouTube channel, how to customize the smart tool for your specific data. Because as you can see, there are cases where the models doesn't work and in supervisory you can train the model to segment your custom objects. I will provide the link uh, in the description. So if you find this tutorial useful, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more computer vision tutorials. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.